Uh, so let's get a sense of uh, how the market is starting for today on the fixed income and FX space for uh, the MPC decision day. Ajibola Aerophilis, who is the head of our FX trading at uh, FBM Quest Merchant Bank. Ajibola, good morning. Welcome uh, to the show here. Uh, yesterday was a massive uh, trading day, 699.6 billionaire in treasuries, nearly 500 deals. That is as big as it can get since the year started. Yeah, morning, boxing. Good to be here. Um, market has really, really been active, um, and that's just in line with everything that's been going on. Uh, some of it's driven by some of the CBM policies that have been recently instituted. Um, we've seen the yields have been on the downward trend in the fixed income market, both for the treasury bills and for the um, for the bond market. Uh, for the bond market, especially yesterday, um, yields have really been dropping across the um, various maturities. But yesterday, activists was really focused on the 20-year maturities. Uh, we expect that there's going to be a bond auction this week. Uh, have about 145 billion on offer at the, at the auction. Um, we expect that yields again will drop um, in line with what's been happening. Um, the Treasury market space, same thing. Um, the long end of the call has dropped, you know, really, really down to about 10.9, um, and it's still dropping. Everybody's just trying to lock in rates right now. Um, MPC today, um, well, markets to be cautious, um, but we expect that. I mean, going by some of the rhetoric. That CBN has, you know, continued to show in recent times. Um, maybe there will be a slight cost in rates, um, maybe by about 50 basis points. Or we see them maybe, you know, shift in the asymmetric corridor um, just to reduce the rates on the FDA, you know, just to in line with some of the things that they've been doing recently. Yes, uh, Ajibola, that's what some thoughts on Market Street are saying, that perhaps the central bank will keep the big picture at, uh, uh, at a certain point uh, a five percent, which is the MPR, but try to tinker with the asymmetric corridor, uh, trying to get you banks to uh, 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 just uh, stick in line with what it's trying to do with what is called its current accommodative, uh, increasing accommodative stance because of the system liquidity. Because the central bank wants, if you look at the OBB at overnight rate, there is there an indication there since. Uh, the year started that it looks like the central bank is getting uh, to use monetary tools to shift interest rate position rather than just taking the knife and slice the NPR. Um, yeah, that's been effective, really. Um, overnight rates, just be well, I mean, overnight rates has really been really low um, in the OBB market. Um, you know, it's been around 4%, 3% for the overnight. Then everyone dropping as low as 2% about last week. But again, um, yes. They which dropped high to above, you know, 15 to 20 percent, and that's just because market is really at the moment not liquid enough uh, because of some of the withdrawals. You know, SMIS retail on Monday, yesterday there was another wholesale funding, homo, homo funding last week Thursday, um, so that has reduced liquidity in the market. Overnight rates, you know, jumped to as high as 20 percent yesterday, but again, that might ease off slightly today. We won't say the four percent levels, but it might ease off slightly today to about 14 levels until we see another big maturity. You know that would make markets. Uh, so, so, so is there anything for the FX in today's uh, uh, MPC and the state of the market currently? Um, well, for the FX market, we are looking towards what's going to happen to FBI. Um, You know, if it's a cost in rates, what's going to happen to the FTX? Would it really spoil them? Um, to say, okay, you know, they are getting it right and then continue to pour money into the economy, like we're saying, or would it be to say, okay, you know what, we're holding our yields are really, really low, like they've been doing in recent times. Um, but again, for FX market, we're not just looking into MPC alone, we're looking into what Fed is going to do this week. Um, there's still been all this talk about Fed cost rate. Um, if that happens, you know, we're, we're on the lookout to see if Nigeria, if Nigeria market will be attractive enough to, you know, for the capital flight that might occur based on the fact that, you know, Fed cut the rates in those in that um, international market. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, day. So let's uh, allow you to uh, get back to uh, your work session and, 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 and continue trading. I'm sure you're keeping an eye on, on 130, 145 when the central bank governor uh, will speak. I'm sure all of you in the dealing rooms will be taking a very good listen to uh, what Godin and Mefile will say and how the members of the MPC uh, decided. Thank you so much. Thank you, Valero Phillips. Uh, we'll touch base Thank with you, you in the next couple of days. We appreciate that from FMDQ Exchange Place.